Hello and welcome to Mi Factories, Glass and Fabrik, our transparent factory. Today you are joining us uh, uh, during a very busy process uh, and you can watch us for two hours uh, and see what we are doing here and uh, yeah, plug in. So uh, if you are new to this, uh, this is how this works. Uh, I'm going to work here on some prototype and you can watch it, but it will be a long video uh, and I will take pictures while I'm working. And these pictures will end up on Flickr and you can find a link to this Flickr account below when you watch this on uh, YouTube now. And um, there you can browse through the pictures and see if there is something that interests you and then you can go back to the video and try to figure out when this was created. But let me uh, uh, cut to the chase. What are we going to work on today? We are continuing to work on the open shelf nodes. Um, Maybe you know about this, this is our project where we have this uh, shelf node system. You can find here in the stream, the, uh, in the, um, on the site, on the, in the video, the link to, uh, to the site, uh, mifactory slash open shelf nodes, or just go to the mifactory website and click on products and then you will find the page about the open shelf nodes. The open shelf nodes is basically a method to construct all kinds of uh, shelves or other structures uh, from this little from little notes like this so and we uh, make these knots from all possible materials for example from wood uh, you just saw the 3d printing one uh, from acrylic from recycled plastic from concrete from cardboard really to show that this is an open circular design that can be made from almost all materials that you can find around you and that can uh, very easily be fitted to all kinds of rods you can find, maybe in your supermarket, in a hardware store, or maybe in the trash bin. So it's an upcycling friendly design. And today we are going to make a, a silicone version. So it's a really flexible version. I already made a test, so here you can see. The test was to figure out how tall the hole has to be for a 16 millimeter rod. So we have here a 14 millimeter uh, Whole. And today we are going to create a full um, silicone silicone uh, node. And for this, I made a mold. I 3D printed, uh, designed, and 3D printed this mold. And uh, we are going to use it to make this silicone node. But before we do that, uh, this I want to uh, record a little video about this mold. Before, before I, um, I put the silicone in and then it becomes dirty and then it's not so nice to explain anymore. Uh, so first step, we are going to uh, create a little video about this mold. Then we are going to create a silicone uh, node using this mold and see if uh, this works. And then we are continue to set up a little test structure where we will uh, combine different uh, shelf nodes from acrylic, wood and so on, and Lego bricks uh, to have a structure to then take a picture of the structure to give away the idea of the open shelf nodes uh, easier and quicker through just one image. So this is what we are going to do today, or this is at least what's planned for today. Okay, let's start. First step, make a video about this mold. So this will be pretty meta. I record a video about recording a video. But that's what's well, part of a studio or open circular design.
first some pictures. Oh, I should change um, uh, on Twitch what this what our stream today is about. Während ich das mache, kann ich ja noch mal erzählen auf Deutsch, was heute passiert. I'm just going to re-explain what's going to happen today in German. Ja, uh, yeah. also, die Gläserne Fabrik geht weiter und wer das Video gerade auf YouTube schaut, der findet unten in der Beschreibung zum Video okay, just edit this, ein Link zu einem Flickr-Album mit Bildern. Während die Session hier läuft, werde ich Bilder schießen und ähm, die landen dann auf Flickr und Silicon Version. Die landen dann auf Flickr und da kann man sich einfach durch dieses Album schnell durchklicken und wenn man irgendwas sieht, wo man denkt, wow, das ist entstanden oder Hä, das ist entstanden und wie ist das entstanden, dann kann man einfach zurück ins Video springen und dort vielleicht die Stelle heraussuchen, wo das zusammengebaut wurde und dann kann man das sehen, wie das zusammengebaut wurde. Und wir arbeiten heute an den Open Shelf Notes, hier unten ist der Link oder die, äh, ein Screenshot von der Webseite auf mifactory.de, wo man was über die Shelf Notes äh, lesen kann. Und die Shelf Notes ist ein System, wo man Regale oder alles Mögliche aus denselben Grundknoten bauen kann. Und diese Grundknoten wiederum kann man bauen aus allen möglichen Materialien. Und äh, heute werden wir an der Silikon-Variante arbeiten. Dafür gibt es diese Form hier, die ich jetzt kurz noch fotografiere und dann werden wir die mal zum Einsatz bringen.
Google. Okay, let's go into the recording. This recording is uh, necessary because I want to have a documentation, of course, about uh, this mold. If it works, <laughs> then the video will be up. And before I uh, make the mold dirty, I'll just make a video about the mold. Okay, this is the mold to make a silicone version, to make exactly this silicone version. So we have these round corners and we have them also here in the mold. And here's a, a test I made and this uh, test showed that in order to use 16 millimeter rods, you should have in the mold 16 millimeter, uh, 14 millimeter holes. So you can see the 16 millimeter rod doesn't fit here. So. And you see, um, this is, will be the result just from silicone. So to make some fun shelves for kids. So I show you how it's assembled. I made a top and a bottom that is removable. So this will make it easier to get the uh, silicone body later out of the whole structure. So. And uh, this mold is uh, designed with FreeCut, uh, an open source uh, cut program, which I really like and love. Uh, and you can, of course, download the files for this uh, mold and you can 3D print it. I choose to 3D print it because then I have a really precise mold here where everything fits tight and the silicone probably won't get out. So, uh, but the printing job took quite some time. I have a really fast 3D printer, it's a Delta, but it took, I think, 10, 17, almost 18 hours to print the um, mold. So, now the rods. See, it's really tight, it squeezes. And um, you can see I made them much longer than needed. Why? Because uh, experience shows that this part maybe breaks off when I uh, open up the mold again, but then the rod will still be long enough to uh, use a tool to still pull it out in the end. So. satisfying to put this together. It's always beautiful when you design something like this on a computer screen and then you pull it out, put it into the printer and it works and this time it perfectly works. So I will test this now and show you how it worked. Okay, hopefully this video worked. Let's have a test. Okay. I mean, I have the second video here. <laughs> if this one just didn't work, then I have the other one. Okay. 
you can see the printer here, the last rod made some uh, mistakes. So the last 2% were printed, but it's not a problem. Make this Okay, now now comes the silicone. This is to level it out. So hopefully my clamp will stay clean. Ah, here you can see the test mold I made. Broke. Tiny version. And I redesigned it because, uh, of course, the tiny version showed some issues. So, 
what kind of uh, silicone do I use for now for this prototype? I use uh, just a uh, regular silicone you use uh, you use to make molds. For example, uh, if you want to tabletop game gamers design their own little worlds and they make molds. I bought this product here, which is quite expensive. It's not really. Uh, ah, maybe. What I want is here is an inspiration for this project Flexi Toy. So you have a wooden sticks from bamboo and you have these silicone connectors and you can make all kinds of interesting structures. And the idea here is, I think I will repeat it later, is to have a, um, an open shelf node system for kits. So furniture for, for bedroom for kids that work like a toy and are a little bit flexible, so when they fall on them, they don't get hurt so much. Uh, they work like a toy and um, yeah, they're still stable enough to uh, hold books or whatever. So this is the, the main vision here. Okay, uh, let's start with white. I won't explain how it works with this uh, silicone molds. There are better videos on YouTube to explain this. But it's basically two components and you mix them and I think then you have less than 10 minutes time. Till they become really hard and then it's just I think less than one hour and we can pull out the finished this was not smart we should have make it bigger oh, come on that should be enough so do we have 48 gram I measured this with my eye, but you can, I think, use rice. But I don't have rice. But I could have filled in rice into the mold and then see the exact amount of silicone I would need. Mm. OK. 
actually. 54, 58, 56, 57. That's enough. We lost a little bit of the white one, so let's add another drop. Oops. Silicone, they say, is a pretty sustainable material. It's they say it's a 100% recyclable uh, and then you can cut down old molds and reuse the little snippets in new ones. I never tried this. I have not finished my research on silicone, but the first hour I spent on it looked quite promising. Okay. Hold a moment. Oh, hopefully I made enough. Oh, shit. Not even close. Oh, that's not good. Fuck. I should have measured this. Let's go wild. Bad moment. Are oh, really still not enough? No. No, it's really not enough. Still need more. Okay, note to self, next time measure it. This should cover it.
This is my second time I work with silicone, but I guess you already know that. Now it's really about this. Bubbles, now you have to get out the air. So this is the tough part, I guess. Ah, I should have a time code when I take these pictures. Okay, continue the video recording, part two. Okay, I mixed the silicone and put it into the mold and it was quite nice and easy to use this hole. Apparently there is no leakage anywhere, so the mold is really fit uh, and tight. And now I just have to wait until at least the majority of the air is out and in an hour from now you can dismantle the mold and see what happened but for security reasons I think I will wait longer maybe even 12 hours until I dismantle it There's no garbage, sadly. I'm going to reuse this sheet.
Okay, what's next? Cleaning up, I guess. There's enough material for at least one more. Okay, what's next? We're going to disassemble uh, a test or a little uh, visual item with the shelf notes. Ah, there you will be able to see. I can show you some of the shelf notes. So, these are the 3D printed ones. Here, why I didn't show this? This is a small version of a silic of a silicone knot. Oh, I forgot about this one. It works. This really this can really be a fun shelf for kids. Whoa, 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 whoa.
So these are the different tests for shelf nodes I made with the printer and designing cut files so far. So you can see these balls have one or two. Um, threads to tighten this onto the rod. Okay, and for our test, I think I choose this one also with a thread here. So probably. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> this one, uh, the slicer added support into the thread, yeah, and I didn't notice, so, hmm. The wood. Ah, the cardboard version. Yeah, for this picture, I've changed this one.
By the way, there are a few things on earth more satisfying than making large holes into cardboard. But you can't do it like that with the cardboard node. Yeah, apparently with cardboard it's not recommendable to have large rods. But for the sake of this picture, let's see.
Okay. Da mein Kleiner, und ein neues Rekord. There are definitely more elegant ways to make support for shelves from cardboard. But this is one working one. Hmm. There's one piece missing. Okay, I laser cut these months ago and I never continued to work on them. Today is today. Um,
Oh, this is fun. Hey, this was supposed to work better. Why does this not work? Ah, okay, yes, because that's... Problem taking picture of transparent things is hard. This is something where cameras suck. Yeah, here the three D printer, uh, the laser cutter, didn't succeed. Okay, time to get serious.
イエーイこれタダーはいザザはい、the first。ああ、デザインファイルズ for these will be shared of course、um,。at the shelf notes site。so just wait for it。it will take。it will take some time。to put them up there。but they will be there。
the material for these mods uh, are scraps from industrial production. There's a source in Berlin where you can get them for really cheap money and um, save them from being thrown away. I did this. Okay. As you can see with the shelf notes, it's from these acrylic ones made from 2D parts, 2D elements. We only have two different types of parts. It's not three, it's not four, it's really just two. And this is enough to assemble a stable, or hopefully stable, Structure. Hmm, we'll see. We'll set up one entire shelf. I think I was there in October to later cut these. Now we have April. Ta da!
Okay. Design differently. Oh, that's not good. Are they? Okay, there are the thing is with these notes is that there are two different ways to make them. There are two different versions and the two different versions aren't really compatible with each other. I think here I have two different versions. No? Oh yes. So you can see this comes out at the bottom left for you maybe hmm. anyway left but this comes out different places while in order to have a stable shelf in the end you need them to be done all the same i can spin this as long as i want i will never be able to align them up here it's just mathematically impossible they will all there are just two different versions of this possible in space and this is a problem because they don't make a stable shelf so you will run into problems when you set up your shelf I think with these, um, with these ones I have it all right yes here you can see it's here and in the back and uh, with all the 3d printed ones hopefully it's the same I haven't tested this uh, yeah and here we have two, two different versions, which sucks. And I don't know yet if it's possible to assemble this to have both versions. So let's see. This, okay, this one is this version, but now I want to make this version and I'm pretty convinced it should be possible. So when 
I have it like this and I want it to be... Ooh, no! Yeah. It's not possible. If this were a consumer product, you would have to... It would either be impossible to be a consumer product, because there would be so many people unable to set this up properly, to get their head around this, or you would have to have really good dumped down assembly instructions or documentation for the customers. Okay, and now we learned. Yes. If you're coming from 2D, it's possible to make all versions. See, now it's the same. I'm not sure if this is called, but this looks awesome. This really looks awesome. Okay. Um, I need three, so I can go for 
the third one. Why didn't I make something in colors? She comes in colors every way. Turn the hair. She comes in colors. Okay, we make a color version now. In the remaining time. Yes. I mean the mold we made earlier and we used earlier, you can now use this mold. If you have some metal working skills to make a metal mold and then you can make these shelf notes from recycled plastic yourself using a precious plastic machine for example, which would be fantastic I think and something we are going to do in the future at some point. But nothing stops you because uh, the design files for the mold will be up in the coming days. But it's really no magic trick to make this mold. Okay. What do you think? Outside or inside? Let's make one outside. What up? Really? This is 4 millimeters? No sh no way. No. No. Okay. Mm, sits tighter. natürlich ein befriedigendes Gefühl, wenn das so umsetzt.
It's almost like Lego. Ooh, that's cool. Ooh, I like that. I like that. This is super cool. Don't glue this shit. Never. She comes in colors anywhere. Then we hard to see the coffee on. Warum ist das so schön tight und das andere nicht? Los, ich habe hier 2,5 mm Plexiglas gehabt. Nee. Hm. Los. Sorry for celebrating this. Alles super cool. Was ist nun los? Jesus Christ, das ist auch... What? Oh. Das ist dicker. Ja. Yeah. May the forest be with you or... Probably not. Sollte ich haben.
Ja, tatsächlich. Was ist das? Das ist falsch gelasert. Der ist auch dick, das merke ich schon. Oh no! Damn it. Ja, yeah, these are when you buy second hand material, then you they might get the measures not 100 correct. Oh, this is disappointing. Really? So, yeah. All right. Das war der richtige, oder? Oder etwa nicht? Schon wieder nicht. Holy... Jesus.
is it a laser or is it Okay, what the heck? Doof aus. Ja, so ist es halt. Ja, yeah, it's definitely the material. Pretty. But it's both sold as three millimeter material. The difference is uh, half a millimeter. can spin this. I wanted to spin this. This was so funny. She comes in colors everywhere. She comes her hair. She comes in colors. Yeah, I think I want to have that shelf in my living room. No, no. <laughs> okay. Ganz ruhig. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, same problem. I disassembled it the wrong way, as I said. This isn't working as a consumer product. Will never do. Or I figure out a way to document it. But then you would have to make all kinds of marks here on the parts and this would ruin the aesthetics. So, hmm. okay.
Maybe the laser cutter sucked, made a mistake. I mean, it's not the best laser cutter there. But you know, half a millimeter for a laser cutter off? Mm. Very unlikely. I mean, it's definitely more satisfying when it really clicks in. That's really nice. Maybe every consumer can do this, except myself. Maybe everyone is smarter than me. And now we have it on record. Still love this. It's just so awesome. It's the yellow in the mirror. Motherfucker, please. No. 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 Uh, oh. I don't believe this. What? <laughs> okay. Um, it's wrong again. Hey, solving mathematical problems with me factory. Oh, and that's dance, then this is the only sign. And then also him, yeah. Okay. Holy.
And now we are Okay. This time we got it. But I just learned that these are incorrect. Which sucks, but that's how it is. Okay. So definitely self-assembly doesn't seem to be a good idea. Printed, finished, yes. The 2D version seems to be not a good idea. This will never be a very stable shelf. Maybe. Let's see. Okay, suck. Final picture, and then let's have a look at the mold. Let's 
seems to be dry. Do we have time to open this? Oh no, we don't. Yeah, check out the final um, result. I think I will make a video when I, I think I will make a video when I open this up. But now I have to leave to get the kid uh, out of kindergarten. Uh, that's the reason that the transparent factory closes for today. Yeah, thanks uh, for uh, having a look into uh, our work today. As I said, all the uh, results will be up on the Factory website, especially on the Open Shelf Notes page, which is already up when you go through mefactory.de and uh, check for the products in the menu, and there you will find uh, some documentation of the Open Shelf Notes already, and it will grow as this is an open distributed design. It's never finished, uh, or it's finished and can grow from being finished. Uh, yeah, so let's see uh, where we can push this design in the coming month or even years, maybe. So, uh, thanks. Have another look next time. Uh, bye bye and enjoy your spring. <laughs>